Hey everyone, Jack Reeve, Talk Norris City here, back for another video. Hope you guys are all doing fantastically well. Today I'm back for my which players should we keep or sell from the starting eleven that played in our final match of the season against Manchester City. If you want a part two of this episode where I go through all of the rest of the squad, which players I'd keep and sell out of them, I will do that if this video hits 500 likes. Also, we've got a Ko-fi page. It's a donation service. All you can do, can do it's a one-off donation, and it helps out with the running costs of TNT. If you want to help out and you want to be in the TNT Members Club Facebook page, then the link to that will be in the description below. Let's get straight into it. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in a really good mood. I completely forgot that I had this Norwich kit. I was rummaging around my um, my wardrobe earlier on, just in there, that's my wardrobe, and um, I found this, and I love it. This is one of my favorite Norwich kits. I love the badge, it's kind of almost sparkly in the sunlight. Anyway, let's get straight into the video then. The team that faced Manchester City, although it was only, um, well, last week, wasn't it? I completely forgot what the team was. It was Tim Krul in goal, uh, Max Ahrens, Christoph Zimmerman, Ben Godfrey and Jamal Lewis. McLean, Campwell, Lucas Roop, Stieperman, Hernandez and Puki. 11 players. Which ones would I keep and sell? Let's, let's start with Tim Krul then. Um, our player of the season. He's turned into a real cult hero amongst Norwich fans and rightly so. He's been, for the majority of his Norwich career, very, very good. And I think he's one of the key characters in this team. We've talked about leaders and a lack of leaders all season. He's a leader. Um, all of the players, certainly the defence, certainly last season when Max was coming through and so was Ben and so was Jamal, they put it down to Tim Krul really helping them out. So for me, we have to keep Tim Krul. I don't think we'll sell him. I think Tim's happy here. For me, we keep him. Tim, you stay in. Next up, Max Ahrens, one of our most valuable assets at the football club. Um, it's crazy to think that he made his debut against Ipswich and has just flourished from then. Being one of our most consistent performers, really good going forwards, maybe struggled slightly defensively this season. I think he was almost put under the bus by Daniel Farker, considering he was still having to play as high up the pitch as he was in the championship, but against the likes of Salah and Aguero and all of these crazy players, um, he was struggling at times this season. But that doesn't take away from the fact he's young, he's talented, and he's worth a lot of money. We've seen in recent weeks he's been linked with the likes of Bayern Munich. I think that offers will come in for, for Max Ahrens, and as we've heard from Stuart Webber, only offers that are very much at the valuation that Norwich is setting will then players then leave. We don't have to sell this summer, and it hasn't been that way for a couple of seasons now. I would love to keep Max Ahrens, but I think we have to sell players um, when the value is at their highest, and I'm not necessarily sure a season in the Championship would increase Max Aaron's price and for that reason I'd actually sell Max. I think we've got backup in this in that area. Um, Sam Byram is more than capable of playing there in the championship and I do think that Max is already at a level where he could be playing week in week out in the Premier League surrounded by better players and I think he deserves it as well. So Max I'm going to sell you for your good and for the club's good. I love you. I love you to bits but I think selling would be the right option. Next up Christoph Zimmerman. Um, Really unlucky with injuries throughout the Premier League. For me, one of the better defenders we've got. I don't think he's naturally um, got pace. But I think whenever he's in the side, the defence just looks a little more stable. That game against Burnley where he was thrown on in the second half when we were down to nine men and one nil down, um, he just seemed to solidify it a bit more. It's a really big season for Christoph because he needs to, well, the whole team needs to sort the defence out and that's one of the key areas that we need to improve if we're wanting to bounce straight back. And I think Christoph's going to be one of them real key characters that will hopefully help that. The value is not going to be high, um, but I think Christoph gets the football club. I think he gets the championship. He's got experience there now. He's one of the more experienced players. For me, we should keep Christoph Zimmerman. Next to him is Ben Godfrey. Ben, um, I think, again, is one of our more valuable assets. Um, he's got a, a good agent in Rio Ferdinand, a good agent being he's got contacts. I'm sure that they'll already have been talks surrounding Ben Godfrey's future and where that maybe lies. I can't see him staying. I still think he's a midfielder. That might simply be because he's so good with the ball at his feet. He's a very modern day defender. He likes to get the ball down and play it out from the back, which is good. However, his defensive positioning for me this season just simply has not 
been good enough. Um, again, a young player who I'm sure will be having a fantastic future wherever that may be. I think his value is very high at the moment. Lots and lots of European clubs apparently interested in him, which is similar with Max Ahrens. And I guess that goes to show that um, the style of football in which we are playing is suited to European divisions, Italian clubs and German clubs coming in for Ben Godfrey if the rumours we are seeing are correct. For me, I would sell Ben Godfrey, get the value in, get the money in while it's still high, and hopefully um, we can then reinvest that in other areas. Next up, Jamal Lewis. I'm going to say it straight off the bat. If I was Stuart Webber, I'd be keeping Jamal Lewis. And you know what? If I was Jamal Lewis, I'd be wanting to stay at Norwich City. I think Jamal is a fantastic player. I think his development is maybe slightly behind that of Max Ahrens. Um, and I think with another season under his belt, I think Jamal Lewis could go on to become a really established Premier League footballer. And I'd love to see him do that at Norwich City if we were to get back into the Premier League. Um, I wouldn't see us getting more than sort of £15 million for Jamal at the moment, which is still a hell of a lot of money, but I think that will be higher in the future. I would keep Jamal. I would love Jamal to stay. And I wouldn't be looking to sell him necessarily. Next up, Kenny McLean. I think this man has got way too much stick this season. I really like Kenny. I think he's one of our more complete midfielders. He's got a bit of pace about him, which Mario Vrancic and Tom Tribal and Alex Tete just simply don't possess. I think he's a really, really good footballer, actually. I know there's been frustrations around him at points this season. I just haven't really understood it. I haven't seen um, enough poor performances to warrant criticism. And I think, again, like some of these other players, they've got championship experience and that is really going to help us. I see Kenny as a potential leader in that dressing room. Um, we know what he's about and we know he can do it in the championship. I would be looking to keep Kenny McLean at all costs. I know there was an article going about the other week, I think it was Daniel Farker actually, that said he's irreplaceable. I wouldn't go that far, but I don't think the potential maybe four or five million pounds would be worth, um, you know, worth it for the value that Kenny McLean brings to this squad. I really like Kenny. I really do. And I'd be looking to keep him. Todd. Campwell, probably one of the most talked about Norwich City players this season. He has had attention for all kinds of reasons, mainly because of his um, brilliant performances on the pitch and his breakout season in the Premier League has been brilliant to watch. I've loved watching Todd. I think he's one of our most exciting players. When he gets the ball, you know he's going to do something with it. Um, and often that's been goals or assists or taking it past players. I think he's been brilliant. However, I don't necessarily think his game is best suited to the championship and I think his stock is very, very high at the moment. He is just a complete footballer in terms of off the pitch, on the pitch, he can do it on the pitch. He's got the hair, he's got the celebration, he's so marketable. You could just see him fitting right in to an Arsenal or a Tottenham or someone like that, someone chasing the top four. I think he's probably good enough on the pitch and they would be able to market him perfectly. And I think he's worth a lot of money considering the season he has had. I'd be looking to sell Todd with a really heavy heart. I think we could get good money for him and I'm sure he could rip it up wherever he goes. Lucas Roop is up next, of course, sponsored by the TNZ channel. He struggled, um, to, to put it lightly, um, in the Premier League. There were some good performances in there. There were some really poor performances. I think he was, um, you know, maybe being harshly treated by some, it's going to be incredibly tough to bed yourself into a Premier League team, especially in the form that we were in. I don't think we'll be selling Lucas Root because we've literally just signed him. Um, I don't know quite where he'll fit in, in, the, in, the, in the Championship. We've got a lot of midfielders. I don't think he's one of our better midfielders, but I'd keep him. I don't think we're going to be able to sell him for too much money, and I'm sure he will show some signs of quality in the championship. Marco Stiepen up next, one of, for me, the key players in the last championship promotion season. However, I think having look at, looked at the signings that we've made so far and the players that we are being linked with, it looks like Marco Stiepen is going to be replaced, if not already has been replaced by Kieran Dow. I love Marco. I don't think he's the most technically gifted player, but I think his movement's really clever. I think he gets into pockets of space that we've struggled to get into at points this season. He was one of the key reasons that we were so successful in the championship. His movement in that kind of number 10 position, his ability to carry the ball was absolutely priceless. However, I don't think he'll be able to carry that quality again in the championship. I think his performance levels might dip slightly 
And for that reason, and with the introduction of Kieran Dowell amongst others, I think he might be gone. Two more players to go, Onel Hernandez. For me, he was my first kind of name on the keep sheet. I think Onel is going to have a really, really good season. He, he was one of the more consistent players towards the back end of that season. Again, struggled with injuries throughout the Premier League, but he's just so, so quick and exciting. Him and Poiretta are gonna be really interesting to see if they both play. That's gonna be really, really good fun. We need to see more um, final product from Anel. I don't think the goals are necessarily being there and the assists haven't been there, but if he can just work on that slightly, I think he's a really fantastic championship player and one I'm very much looking forward to see. Finally, Timu Puki, 29 goals. In the Championship, 11 goals in the Premier League. That is a wonderful, wonderful return from a free transfer. I've seen some people say that he should maybe go. I think his international manager for the Finland team was saying his career might be better suited elsewhere. I completely disagree with all of it. I think Timi Puki has to stay. Even if we're not looking for him to be our number one striker, I think the value that he brings to this football club is massive. He is a fantastic finisher. We didn't see the best of him in that second half of the Premier League season. I think that was down to the sheer amount of football that he was playing. I don't think he was create, given that many good opportunities um, to score. And I think he just looked really tired. I don't think he, the, the, the system really fitted him in the Premier League. Playing as a lone striker in the Premier League when you're not getting many opportunities is going to be tough. And even that being said, he scored double figures goals, which for a team that scored hardly any goals in the Premier League, that is a fantastic return. I think we should be looking to keep Timmy Puki at all costs. And I think he will stay. Okay, so that's the 11. I would keep Tim Krull. Sell Max Aarons, keep um, Christoph Zimmerman, sell Ben Godfrey, keep Lewis, keep McLean, sell Toddy Cantwell, keep um, Lucas Roop, sell Stieperman, keep Hernandez and keep Puki. With all of that being said, I think, to be honest, all of them players on that team sheet I'd be looking or like to keep. But the reasons I'm saying sell them is because I think it's a really good time to be selling these assets, making money and then hopefully reinvesting it in areas that we really really need it. Let me know if you would keep or sell that starting 11. Put it down in the comments section below. As I said at the start of this video, if it hits 500 likes, I'll do another one for the whole squad. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.